Okay, so now the, the DTI reckon that this bill aims to provide a simple enabling framework for business license application procedures by setting norms and standards. Will it? Well, the simplest way to uh, facilitate business is not to have licenses at all, which is the current state of affairs. So the introduction of license with complicated application procedures, costly application procedures, which clearly unsophisticated people will not be able to manage, means that it will victimize especially small business. It's a bit confusing if, for example, you have uh, stores in every village, do you have to get a local mm -hmm. government license in each case? It's unclear from the Act when they can be turned down. What is clear is that any license can be withdrawn at any minute arbitrarily by some local government official. They can do unwarned, unpredicted searches. They can, they can seize goods. Uh, so they, you can get a license, start a business, or you can be declined a license, and then having started it, they can tell you to stop yeah. for on so-called good cause shown or for reasons they deem fit and words like that. So uh, this is not an enabling environment. On the contrary, it's a stifling environment that will victimize especially low-income people. All right, so what sort of other consequences could flow from this? Well, if, if you ran a national competition and who could think of the best idea to maximize corruption, uh, this, was, this would win the prize. Uh, I really, I challenge anybody to come up with a better idea to maximize corruption because this will give uh, thousands, many thousands of local government officials, lowly people with no particular skills or qualification, the ability to shut any business at any time, uh, to turn down licenses, to, to seize goods, uh, and uh, you can just imagine, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to predict uh, corruption on a scale that will make our present corruption look like Mother Teresa. But doesn't it make sense to, uh, I don't know, make businesses legal, know who they are and where they are? Well, they are legal now. Uh, you know, if you buy something from a street vendor or a peasant farmer or a, or a local corner cafe or go to some hotel or whatever, they're all perfectly legal. This will actually just render many of them illegal whereas at the moment they are legal. So uh, the only licenses we need now are a few limited cases like liquor licenses, uh, petrol station licenses, but basically if you want to start a furniture store, a clothing store, a cafe, a hotel, uh, an airline, uh, you want to be a street mm. vendor, you want to be a peasant farmer, uh, whatever, you want to give ballet lessons, you want to give math lessons, lessons, all lessons. of this would in future need a license. So at the moment it doesn't. Like me might need a license. You would need a license. Anyone who supplies any product or service Service, any product or service, anywhere, will need a license. So do we need this, or what should change about it? Well, it should just be abandoned. Uh, the current bill, which is going to be repealed by this, which is the businesses bill, uh, does the opposite. It actually guarantees the right to trade and, and, and removes the ability to shut businesses arbitrarily. So <laughs> it creates an enabling environment. It respects the freedom to trade. This will do the opposite. This will remove freedoms which we now enjoy. And I need to make this point. The only other case in history I know of where there's been such a law, there may well be one in North Korea or Cuba, I don't know, yeah. but certainly in, in virtually no country in the world, and I've visited well over half, is there such a law. The only other case I know of was under apartheid, and all businesses then did need a license. We had a virtually identical yeah. law to this, and its purpose was to keep blacks out of business. The purpose right. was to deny licenses to blacks, and it had that effect, and it will have that effect in the future. All right, so essentially this perhaps hasn't really been carefully thought through. I have no idea who, who it came from. It actually, we've been trying to find out whose idea was it. Uh, it seems unlikely that the minister thought of it. It seems okay. it's, it's very difficult actually to find out where this came from unless somebody found in the archives of Fervurt uh, <laughs> an idea that appealed to them and decided to resurrect it. All right. We're going to have to leave it there, unfortunately. Leon Lowe uh, from the Free Market Foundation, thank you so much indeed uh, for bringing this to our attention. And let's see what happens. Hopefully uh, somebody might... Uh, Put a little bit more thought into this and see what happens. Thank you so much for your time. My pleasure, Peter.